Welcome back to my channel. This is my makeup look today. It's a very orange and very fall inspired. I'm so excited for fall. My nails this week, I did a matte black with this little green accent nail. And I really hope that you enjoy watching. If you want to see a list of all the products I used on my face, you can always check the description box below. I post a list of all the products under every single video. I'm starting with a little bit of primer. This is the Serum Glow Filter by Skin Ink. I have this little stick. This is by NYX. It's called the Pro Fix Stick. It's a color correcting concealer and I got it in the shade O2 Pink. I'm gonna use it underneath my eyes for the dark circles. I'm doing it under foundation just because I want to, just because I want to. I might add some more over the top before I put on like regular concealer. I also have a concealer that I've never tried before that I'll be trying out. And I'm just blending it in, kind of tapping it in with my fingers. I'm not doing a lot of this because it's just a color corrector, you know, you just need a little bit. I think it already looks so much better. It looks so much more like... I have quite dark circles. I always have. So I'm hoping that I'll just kind of brighten them up a little bit. I'm going to go in with a little bit of foundation. And I'm using this one by CoverGirl. It just comes in a little compact like this. There's a sponge on the bottom. But I'm going to use my It Cosmetics brush. This is the Outlast All Day Foundation. I have the shade 405 Ivory. Just a very even natural layer. And now I'm going to use this concealer. I've never tried this one before. This is by e.l.f. I have the shade Fair Warm. Now I have used the Camel Concealer by e.l.f. before, but I've never tried the hydrating one. That one was just like the original, I think it was, and I quite liked it. I think before I add on some concealer, I'm gonna go back in with that color correcting stick and dab a little bit more underneath my eyes, but also on like my um, inner corner here. It's always quite purple and dark there, and I always kind of forget to put concealer and foundation there so it kind of stays dark. Um, and you probably wouldn't even have to go over top of this corrector with concealer because it does a really good job of concealing itself. But I'm going to layer this e.l.f. concealer over top, just a couple of little dots, and then maybe a little bit here on the back here for some highlight. I'm adding a bit of loose setting powder all over my face to set in these cream products. Focusing more on the eye areas because I have multiple layers there and I don't want any of them to crease. I'm going to be doing a very, very just like simple but very bright orange eye. So I'm using the Violet Voss Essentials palette. It looks like this. I'm starting with this bright orange shade called Terracotta. I'm starting by packing this all over my lid and in my crease. Not blending anything just yet. Doing the same thing to the lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take a clean brush and I'm starting to just tap out the outer edges of this shadow and do little blending motions to where I can just fade out the outer edges. Going in with some more of that orange terracotta on the outer corners of my eyes. Now I wanna take a different shade in this palette. This is called Cinnamon. It's a dark warm brown. I'm patting a little bit of this onto my outer corner and lightly blending it. I'm going to take this little pot of goo. The shade is called Quasar or Quas, Quasar, Quasar Goo. I don't, it's by Lovecraft Beauty and it's just a very pretty um, copper and I think it's like not really a cream shadow but sort of like a cream shadow. It's supposed to be like a topper I'm pretty sure for like eyeshadow. So I'm going to dip into this pot with this flat brush and I'm just mostly just patting it onto my whole lid. I'm trying to refrain from swiping it because I'm afraid it would, you know, mess with the shadow underneath and it's quite a thick formula so it feels like it should be like it's made for padding and this brush is actually perfect for it because I can get it exactly where I want on my lid and I'm blending out the edges just a little bit with my finger just to make sure that it all blends into the eyeshadow. I went ahead and filled in my eyebrows and now I'm going to add a little bit of blush and I'm going to use that same orange shadow for my blush but just tap my brush into it, brush off most of the extra and then just do a little bit of a blush here. For my face highlight, I'm going to use another shade from this Violet Voss palette. Any sort of whatever highlighter you like would use, but I'm using this one. It's called Cream. It's very, very glowy. 
I'm gonna take a really small pencil brush, use this same shadow to highlight my inner corner and my brow bone. Next, we're going to add some mascara. This is by AOA, it's the Tall Lash Mascara. And then last, we're going to do lips. So I'm starting with the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade of Blushing. This is my go-to if I'm doing a nude lip or anything nude adjacent. So over top of this lip liner, I'm going to do a liquid lipstick. This is by Ofra and the shade is called Mocha. And then I think that I'm going to top this lipstick off with a little bit of the goo that I put on my eyes. I'm using that same brush and I'm going to just pat on a little bit of this, mostly on the center of my lips, and then I'm going to just blend it in with my fingers. And here's our finished fall look. That brings us to the end of this video, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed. If you want to see more content from me, I would love if you subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Monday and Thursday. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you next time.